Hello, welcome to this video where I'm going to show you guys some tips on how to create your IB outlets uh, for connecting your IB outlets to the elements on your storyboard. Now, if you've gone through my beginner series, uh, the lessons where we create the war card game, uh, you would have had some experience with this where you're adding elements onto the view and then you're connecting those elements to expose them in your view controller so you can access them via code. Uh, let me just demonstrate here. Uh, I'm going to do just a, let's do a button. Uh, this is a brand new project. You don't need to follow along. I just want to show you guys uh, some of the pitfalls. So here, what we'll usually do is click show the assistant editor. And then we're going to click the button. We're going to hold down control on our keyboard and we're going to click and we're going to drag it over here. So it says insert outlet action or outlet collection. Uh, and here you want to make sure that your outlet, uh, sorry, your connection is outlet. If you're planning to expose the button, if you are planning to, uh, do a handle a button tap, then you would choose action instead. But let's choose outlet. And let's say something like I'm going to type in my my button and I'm going to purposely spell it wrong because I want to demonstrate a common a common problem that beginners run into. So now I've uh, so now I've connected my button element to the view controller, but I spelled it wrong. So uh, what some people do is they're just going to delete this property and then they're going to do it again. So now I'm going to spell it the right way. And when they run it, the app is going to crash. And I'll tell you why in a second. So there it's crashed. And if you go down to this debug area, if you don't have this uh, pane here, just go into the upper right and you can toggle it on. And if you scroll all the way to the top, you're going to see uh, terminating app due to uncaught exception NS unknown key exception. This class is not key value coding compliant for the key. My button. This is the misspelling. See, it's spelled with an I. So I thought we deleted that outlet, right? Why is it complaining that it can't find it? Well, let's just stop this for a second. Well, what happens is when you delete after you make this connection, even if you delete this line of code right here, the button is still connected to that property, except now it's even worse because uh, when you run your app, it's expecting to connect this element to a property named my button with an I, uh, but it's not there anymore. So how do we fix this? Uh, well, if you go back to your storyboard and you right click on the element, or if you don't have a two button mouse, you can press command and click hold down command and click. And you can see down here in the referencing outlets, it's connected to two properties in the view controller now, the correct spelling and the incorrect spelling. So all you want to do to fix this is click this little X next to the the one you deleted. And by doing that, uh, now that you run it, it won't look for this misspelled uh, outlet. Another tip is like you see this gray dot here this filled in circle, that means that it is connected. So this outlet is connected to some element. Right click, if I kill this, if I click an X, kill that, you can see that that circle is not filled anymore. So that just, uh, that just indicates to you whether or not it's connected. Another common mistake that I see people doing when they have lots of elements uh, laid out next to each other is Sometimes they they may connect the wrong element. So I just put a view on top of my button. Actually, let me let me move the button like that. So now my button is inside my view. So sometimes uh, they may accidentally select the wrong element. So let me connect this view here, right? And I don't think they would type this, but somehow they get into the situation where they're connecting the view as as the button. 
So I'm going to delete this other one here. So somehow they connected the view or some other element, maybe it was the image view, uh, as the button. So if I right click this button here, you can see that there's no referencing outlets that it's connected to. But if I right click the view, you can see that it's connected to the button property in my view controller. Uh, and my button property is of type UI button. So, you know, I'm going to write some code here and expect that the button dot, let's say, uh, set title of the button is um, draw a card for state UI control state dot normal. Now I'm trying to set the title for the button here in this piece of code and I'm setting uh, you know whatever element is connected to this property. Well this is going to crash because what's actually connected to this property is a UI view element. It's not a button. Um, so it's going to crash again and it's going to say set title selector not found on UI view. So you already know how to fix this because we just went through it. Pretty easy, right? You just click, right click the view and click the X next to the connection. Uh, and then if your views are overlapping each other so that you are uh, prone to making that mistake, what you can do is from this document outline, and if you don't have this, I should have mentioned earlier, there's a little button here uh, in the storyboard to hide or show it. Uh, and then you can click the element from this document outline, hold down control on your keyboard and connect the outlet from here. Okay, so you can see that this one's connected to the button now. And if you hover over the circle, look, it highlights which element is connected to it. So I can delete this one. And finally, one last tip is Let's go back to, let's hide some of these panes here. And finally, uh, one last tip is when you open up the assistant editor in your storyboard and you're expecting to get the view controller dot swift for the view for this view controller in your storyboard. Sometimes you may get something else. You may uh, get an error when you're trying to connect elements like uh, info for view controller not found or something like that. Or maybe you can't even uh, you can't even get the view controller .swift on the right hand side. Well, what you can do is you can actually click these little uh, this breadcrumb here, and you can manually go and select view controller .swift. Okay. Another way to do it is here instead of manual, just hover go down to automatic, and you'll see uh, the recommended file for the uh, the, the view controller or the view that you're looking at and you can click it from there. Okay, I think that does it for the tips for connecting IB outlets. I hope this video was helpful for you guys and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>